Excuse me, I seem to be lost. Where are you headed? Middle of goddamn nowhere, hundreds of miles from any human life. Oh, well, lucky for you, you found it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh my god, that was such a long drive. Really beautiful though, right? So beautiful. I feel really bad about pulling you away from all this. No, it's fine. It can last forever. Still, is your aunt and uncle around? Uh, no. They went out for their anniversary yesterday. Already said our goodbyes. Oh. Guess I came up for nothing then. Yep. This was all just a giant conspiracy to kidnap you and never let you leave. Damn it. I always fall for shit like this. Well, can I at least get something to drink? Let's see what we have. I mean, I meant water, but this works too. Try this first, though. <laughs> oh god, that's foul. What is that? It's some moonshine my aunt made. I found it in one of the cabinets. It's rough, but it gets the job done. Another. To April. To January. So what exactly happened with Natalie? Ugh, remind me to tell you some fucking Natalie stories. And then getting her to move out? She pretty much blackmailed me for her full deposit. Ugh, fucking urchin. Urchin? Give me a break. Just bottom of the barrel, inhuman. Ugh, let's just not talk about it. Deal. Really sorry about that. It's alright. The silver lining is I get my best friend back as a roommate. <laughs> So, how's everything else? Pretty good. I'm working on a new web series. What's it about? Okay, so you know how parrots can live up to 80 years, sometimes longer? Obviously. Well, this is going to be about an old lady and her parrot that she got as a pet when she was a little girl. And the two of them are going to be going on double dates and being really sassy with each other and so on. Yeah, I'd watch that. It's going to be animated like the others. It's going to be called Two Old Birds. I can show you some sketches. What's the Wi-Fi out here? What Wi-Fi? Wait. Like, no Wi-Fi? For real? You get used to it. It's actually nice to be disconnected for a change. So you mean for the next 17 hours, I'm completely off the grid? If you want, you could, uh, ride the cow into town.
Jesus, fuck. Where'd you even come from? You're like a damn cat or something. Sorry. It's cool. Hey, you're January, right? This whole party's for you. You must be... Jesus fuck? <laughs> Hilarious joke, Dad. No, I mean, that'd be better than my real name. Boring old Andrew. No, Andrew's nice. Adorable. Andrew. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> I actually used to live here, but thanks. So, who do you know here? Uh, Arthur, he's my coworker. Oh, I miss Arthur. So you must work at the clothing store. That's the one. Throw fits. So, uh, what are you doing up here on the roof? This isn't where I park my car. <laughs> that was dumb. I don't know. I don't really know anybody here, and. Mostly just wanted to get out of my house for the weekend. Pretty much always wanted to live in a place with roof access like this, so... Pretty much just using you. <laughs> oh, wow. So, uh, free beer and awesome people not enough for you? I've come here to drink beer and look at views. I'm almost out of beer. Wow, you're on fire. Oh, God, put it out. Stop me, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'll save you. So, what would you be doing if you weren't here? Probably working. I do really want to see that movie The Pen Salesman, though. Oh, I've heard of that. I actually want to see that, too. Yeah? We should go. Do you know that theater around here? Yeah, it's pretty nearby, right? Yeah. So, you want to meet there tomorrow? Maybe 5.30? Okay. Um... Um, I better get back to my party. Okay. Well, I'll probably see you down there, and if not, I'll definitely see you tomorrow. I'm just waiting for someone. Actually, guess I'll get the tickets. Wait! Oh, hey, I was just about to buy the tickets. You didn't, right? Uh, no. Want a Coke? No, it's cool. Wait, so you work here? Yeah. Okay. Theater too. Uh, all right. Thank you. Shit, fuck! Christ! How's it going, shit fuck Christ? You must be mistaken. I'm Jesus fuck. Oh, that's right. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't mean to blow you off. That's cool. Shit fuck happens. Right. Hey, but, um, come see me after. Okay, we'll do it. Are these pants on sale? No, I'm afraid they're not. What, can I have a discount? No, they're not on sale. Well, I've been a loyal customer for a long time. That's great, thank you. But that's not how things work, ever. People are the worst, man. Seriously, I had someone come in trying to haggle with me like, this is not a flea market, it's an actual store. Some guy called me a fascist for not taking his return back, which was stained. And his receipt was from like eight years ago. He said, I've been busy. Man, people are scum. They really are. Fuck them. They had a good time at that party the other night. Yeah? Cool. Yeah, I'm actually taking your friend January out for lunch. Oh yeah? Cool, man. January's a cool girl. Yeah, she seems like it. So is there anything I should know about her? 
Like what? I don't know, just anything you think I should know. I mean, she'll tell you what you need to know when you need to know it. Okay. Well, is there anything I should know ahead of time? She's a vegetarian. Hi, I'm Andrew. Just a second. Junior! You can come in. Okay. So you obviously know what I do, seeing as you saw me at work and all. What do you do? I work at Throw Fits, remember? With Arthur. Sorry, you told me that already. It's fine. What I really want to be is an inventor. Cool. Have you invented anything? Kind of. I made a bottle opener in the shape of an owl. Mm, come again? An owl. Oh, it's the little Egyptian cross thing. means life. Like, I'm hearing your words. I just don't. Oh yeah, sure, uh-huh. Anyways, so I sold a bunch online until Urban Outfitters found it. Then they started making and selling their own, so I haven't sold any in about two years now. It's probably karma, you know, from those old ancient Egyptians? Probably. I'm working on a new project, though. I'm actually, uh, really excited about it. What is it? Okay, so it's a little vacuum about the size of a pen. You can use it to suck up the facial hair around the sink after you're done shaving. That's actually pretty genius. I'm surprised that it doesn't exist already. Well, I haven't made it yet. <laughs> you boys and your facial hair are gross, though. When I lived with my boyfriend, I mean, my ex, we're not together anymore. Anyways, he used to shave and leave all his facial hair in the sink and it would clog it up, get stuck to the toothpaste and stuff. It was just gross. See, that's exactly what I'm trying to stop. Never leave the sink gross again. Hey. No Quentin Tarantino? What? That guy looks just like Quentin Tarantino. Oh my god, you're right. Just a bit more sad looking. So, what are you doing? We're gonna two upgrades. Wanna see? Yeah! Okay, so they're getting ready, and... Ding dong. Rather bird gets the worm. Or something like that. How about? I'll take the one on the left. Squat? Oh, that's way better. I'm gonna use that. It's looking really good. Thanks, baby. Excuse us, boys. We're gonna go use the powder room. Well, I wouldn't mind putting that hard piece of caramel candy in my mouth. You can say that again! You can say that again! That's your job! Stupid. <coughs> what up? Just these cartoons, though. Huh? What? Kinda looks like this girl April's animation. Y you know who this is? I mean, I've, I've never seen this, but it hella looks like her style. How do you know her? She's best friends with Jake Bird. Oh, word? Yeah. Chip cracks me up. Yeah, she's pretty funny. Man. What you doing now, anyways? We going somewhere? I'm going out with Alex, man. You know this. Come on. For real? <sighs> yeah. Yes. No, it, 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 it's cool. Shit, man. What? What, what is it? Honestly, dude, she's just kind of basic. Basic? You don't even know her. I bet I do. Okay, 
Tell me. But she loves adventures and having fun and arrested development in the Smiths and goes hiking and drinks mimosas. Literally everything you said sounds amazing. What's the problem? They're just so boring, bruh. Everyone likes that shit. Nothing special about it. Look, show me someone who loves Kenneth Anger or hates Disney. Someone who thinks season 2 is the best season of Friday Night Lights. I don't know, just hold up for someone different, man. That's all I'm saying. Look, man. <laughs> Everybody's basic, alright? You don't start finding out the cool shit until after a few days. You connect on the basic shit, and then the more you hang out, the more those unique tastes come out, alright? So right from the get, if I was to say I don't fuck with Star Wars because that shit is some hidden fortress rip, wouldn't you be like, who is this stuck-up-ass, pretentious human being I'm sharing this Putin with? Not here? even, dude. This day and age, everything's gotta be quick. You don't have time for the basics. Everybody's basic. Give me someone I can sink my teeth into. You? You're just safe. No. Have fun, though, for real. I'm good, man. It's not even about playing for safe. No, I don't it's care. About I just... I Look, it's not like I'm mad or I don't believe what you're saying. I just for real don't care about any of this. You go have fun. I'm gonna watch these cartoons. Hey. Hey. I thought you didn't get high. It's kind of hard not to when your roommate sells some dank ass weed. Nature is cool. We should have more parks. That'll never happen. Conservatives are going to destroy the world, which is ironic. Like, what are they even conserving besides your backward ass reactionary beliefs? Shit. It, it's hilarious. I always thought the conservatives would be the biggest advocates for protecting the environment. Nah, they just don't like being told what to do. I mean, it's not really that- Like, if you're so Christian, wouldn't you be trying to save what God spent the first six days perfecting? Was it six days? Bet. It was six days because he was so exhausted that he had to rest on the seventh. Didn't realize the Almighty could get so tired. Go ahead. I'm listening. So, so if God made the earth and all, wouldn't you as a follower of God want to be the first to stand up and defend it? Like genuinely, why, why put all your energy on deporting Mexicans or, or controlling women's bodies for it's just protecting the environment. And then they call liberals tree-hugging hippies as, as if they're weak for believing that love can heal and, and promote peace. Why be condescending to people who want to have positive views? All these generalizations and, and labels and shit make the world such a stressful place to hold an opinion. I mean, didn't you just generalize conservatives? Hey, whose side are you on? I don't know. I, I see all this beauty and I just feel so alive. Not on a phone or a painting or on a retina display. Nothing can really capture this. Right? Hmm. Yeah. The world is perfect.
directions? I can't find my phone. <laughs> really? right now. Tomorrow? Same. Get it off. Trust me. Why hike all this way just to let her? You know how you can kind of see faces and things in trees? What if an animal died here and was reincarnated as a tree? Part of, like, how we're all connected. No, that's stupid. No, no, don't say that. Don't say what? You're stupid. Don't say that. I'm stupid? No, don't say that you're stupid. You alright? Yeah, a little nauseous. Want some water? You're lovely, you know that? I'm a lot of things. Come on. I like what you were saying earlier about reincarnation and trees and stuff. It kind of reminds me of this book that I read. It's on kind of the same plane. People become very close to nature and the natural world and got in tune with how nature um, grows through people and expresses itself through us. And life percolates through nature, you know? And gets all shaped into things we see. It was a tribe of people, that's right. You alright? I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm fine. Keep going. Okay. Okay, what was I... Okay. So, this tribe of people begin to grow these spiritual trees around them. And the trees grow and form to match who each person is. And so their limbs are all unique and their bark has different textures. And their leaves grow and fall depending on how they're feeling. Wait, what? They become trees? Not really. Like, nature reflects back at us. So like, in a more contemporary example, which is what the book was ultimately trying to critique, is that our ego messes around with who we are and tries to conform us and keep us small and fucking cool that we don't even respect the nature of our being.
you don't have respect for that nature that grows within you, you project that disconnect out onto the world and you don't see the value in it. <sighs> so we cut it down and destroy it because of our egos. Want more water? Yeah, sure. I need to chill for a minute. Okay. You ever stare out and just think, damn? Yeah, definitely. This might be dramatic, but being out here gives me a feeling of faith. Like it's been with me, deep down in my DNA, but it's been diluted from all the other bullshit. There's a comforting feeling that's just almost primitive where you just feel like you're home. Like you've returned home. It's like, this is what I believe in. Not religions that often result in war and hatred and fear, but the indifference of the trees and the mountains and the oceans, of all their epic glory. It's just simple but powerful. You're one of those, I'm more spiritual kind of people, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know. Religion's whatever. The messages are generally fine. I just think interpreting everything so literally is where it gets dumb. Like, I don't think you'll go to hell if you have sex with multiple partners. But instead, it's like, life will be hell for you. Like, what happens when you start having multiple partners? Heartbreak, jealousy, disease, pregnant with someone you may not want to have a baby with, or you have to get an abortion, and if you cheat, you feel guilty, or you start comparing your past relationships to whoever you're with now. It's hell. Imagine how life would be if you just had one partner for your entire life. You wouldn't have anyone to compare it to. You wouldn't have to worry about any of those things. It sounds almost unrealistic. So, do you live by that? How many people have you had sex with? I mean, I haven't followed it. It's too late for me in that regard. I want to be better. So what are we doing this weekend? What? I don't know, I asked you. Look, I still feel the same as before. So, how's the beard vacuum coming? It's not a... It's fine. I need somebody with access to a 3D printer. Any other invention ideas? Jewish advent calendar? I don't know. Cody, what are you doing in there? I have to use the bathroom. Shaving, bruh! <sighs> it's fucking ridiculous. Chris? 
Hey. Hey. Why you stuck up, halfway, scruffy looking nerf herder? Who's scruffy looking? Larry King? Paula Poundstone. Thought you were shaving. Ah, oh, that is just sick. Sick. Hi. All right. Ugh. Another? Not for me, I'm driving. We should just take a lift. I'd rather drive, it's so much easier. You're going to get drunk at this party. And if need be, we'll just crash there. Fair enough. Me and you, baby cakes. <laughs> we go to this party or what? Uh, we're actually thinking about going to a raid. The fuck? What are you, five years old? What? No. Who goes to a rave on Halloween, you fucking basic ass amateurs? We can go to the party if you want to. I can invite you Molly anyways. <laughs> there you go! <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I want to meet your other friends. Oh, January! Hey! <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a costume? Who rings a doorbell at a fucking party, really? <laughs> hey! hey! Happy Halloween! Happy Cody! Halloween! Hey, Chris, Tony! Yeah. Hey, So pretty much anytime anyone tries to make small talk with me, I get up and I walk away, like without saying anything. Or I tell them I'm gonna make like a banana split and I'm hella dedicated to Halloween, you know? I don't think that'll stop me from being pissed off if you do that to me. <laughs> oh yeah? All right, well why don't I give you my number then? And that way, you don't have to say anything, you know, and I don't have to leave, but I'll be expecting some sexting in return. Hey, what are you drinking? I'll have a pop tartini. You know? Because I'm Paula Poundstone. Did she invent pop tarts or? I'll have a beer. I like it. That's what's up! Jill Moose. January, tiger. Dawn, fish. Emily, chicken. Andrew, octopus. Arthur, monkey. 
Madison Mouse. Tyler, my dick. <laughs> <laughs> what was that though? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I didn't even tell what that was, so I didn't get it Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Alright. My dick. <laughs> Whoa! C come on, man. You had one beer. One beer, bro. It's your turn. Oh. 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 Where are you hey. going? Hey, you cool? Am I cool? Am I cool? I don't know, am I cool? What's wrong? Don't. Just don't. <coughs> oh shit, my bad bro. That's my bad dude. <gasps> what the fuck, man? My bad, bro. The fuck? Is that guy's problem, am I right? Stop it. You're drunk. You're not drunk? Not like this. Whatever. I'm getting out of here. What's your problem? What's my problem? He blew smoke in my face. It was an accident. <laughs> that guy's had it out for me since he got here. What are you talking about? Nothing. I, I need to leave. Where are you going? Don't worry about it. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? It means I don't know why you care. Why do I care? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to push you that hard. No, I'm sorry. Fuck. Uh, don't Fuck. leave, don't Ruined leave, everything. don't leave. Oh shit, I, I gotta go. No, it's fine. It's fine. No, I, I gotta go. I'm sorry, January. Andrew. Andrew! Andrew, it's don't! January. I'm really sorry.
sorry about last night. I don't know, I guess I have trouble controlling my anger sometimes. Especially when I'm drinking. Like I never get physical, I'm not gonna hit anyone. Guess I just have trouble articulating my feelings. I have all these really well-constructed thoughts. Then I'm confronted with something and I just lash out. Or bottle everything up. Do you want to talk about what happened last night? What made you so upset? I don't know. It all seems so petty after getting fucking arrested. I mean, I don't really even remember what was bothering me. But I guess that's okay. I mean, you have thoughts and feelings, and then they go away. You can just move on with your life, you know? Thanks for picking me up. What's jail like? Fuck it, man. What's up? Nothing, nothing, dude. I'm just thinking, man. You don't know this, but I'm going to be a great entrepreneur. You can't even spell entrepreneur. Did I say I want to be a linguist? <laughs> All right, man. So what, what's the plan? All right, so it's going to be like a pancake spot. But like, so you know how Froyo places, they got all their toppings displayed out? Yeah. All right, me behind the counter with a grill and a big ass bowl of batter. You know what I'm saying? So the customers will come up, they'll be like, let me get bananas and chocolate chip. I'll throw down the banana, throw down the chocolate chip, throw down the batter, flip it. They got themselves a banana chocolate chip pancake. Isn't that just a crepe? Yeah, it's a crepe. All right. How about for breakfast? It's just breakfast and dinner crossovers. Like what? Egg on pasta? Egg on a pizza? Orange juice? Cereal on pizza? Nah, man. You know what you need to do? What? Just have breakfast for dinner, but as a sub menu. You know? But for a place that has stoner food, but but healthy stoner food. You know, like organic and high class. So it'll be a place with high food, but it'll be healthy. No doubt. Who is it? It's Brandon. Who's this? Oh, my bad, man. This is Phil. Phil, Cody. Chris, hand me that bag. All right. <laughs> Holy shit, man. What about you? Oh, I'm, I'm good. Good? Come on, man. What you need? It was just for me, man. <laughs> It was just for me. Nah, I don't have any cash or... Babe, I take plastic. It's all good. I don't... Uh... Oh, you don't have a card? No, no, I, I do. I... Come on, man. What you need? I don't know. A dub? A dub? Yeah, or, you know, any. Excuse me. Hey, what's up? All right, an eighth for my man, Phil. 
All you need to do is swipe. You want your receipt emailed? Mm -hmm. I'm good. All right. You boys have a nice day. Thanks. <laughs> you see that? Entrepreneur, I swear to God. <laughs>gotta check out this other web series dorm daddy it's one of april's older ones it's about this old fuck who still lives in the dorms and tries hanging out and gives advice to the freshmen that's cool man that's cool what's up man what nothing man hey look i must get up out of here though all right Hey, 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 What's up? Take some for the road. Oh, yeah. Entrepreneur, man. All right, man. Good looking out. See you later. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, I'm on my way to go on a date right now, but Jesus Christ, how often does a girl just call out of the blue and ask for sex? And just sex. No commitment, no nothing. And not just a girl, but an ex? I can't be thinking about this now. I want to concentrate on Alex and see where this is going. Things are going good. They're going good. I, I, I like her. I mean, I don't think we're going to get married or anything, but it's fine for now. What an asshole I sound like. Fine for now? Why am I wasting my time? Or worse, why am I wasting her time? 
I don't love this girl. Not the way I love January. And sex with January was incredible and comforting and alive and fierce. I can't get into a groove with Alex. Oh my God. I'm on my way to this girl's house right now. I can't be thinking like this. And great. I'm gonna pick her up at her stupid fucking house and ask her about her stupid fucking day while eating at some stupid fucking place I don't even want to be at. And go play that awkward stupid fucking dance of, uh, okay, I'm gonna kiss you. Is this okay? Now, 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 is this okay? Oh, okay, yes, uh, where should we, uh, go? I should keep this up. I should leave. Leave. I'm such a coward. Fuck. Of course, anytime there's something hard, just avoid it. But, I mean, am I being a coward if I'm running to love? What the hell am I saying? I, I don't love January still. We, we broke up for a goddamn reason. I, I really am happy. I should compare my relationship with her with Alex. I dated January for four fucking years. I've only gone on six dates with this girl. Of course, things were just as awkward and stressing as they were with January in the beginning. How the hell can I compare the two women? I didn't think I was going to marry January. And I didn't. And I'm not. And I'm okay with that. But here I go again. On the same fucking routine. Getting to know Meeting her friends, doing things she likes to do. Her meeting my friends, doing things I want to do. I meet her parents, she meets mine. We joke about getting a dog together. And maybe we get married or we break up. After years fucking later and start the whole goddamn process over again. My paternal clock is ticking. Jesus. I hope I haven't met my future wife yet. What the hell is wrong? Why am I talking like this? Am I doing this all wrong? Do I have too many expectations? Maybe I should just settle marriage and all that. It's more about who would be the best partner to raise kids with, right? Doesn't mean we're all fireworks and honeymoon phase for the rest of our lives. Doesn't mean we have to be head over heels from the moment we lock eyes at a fucking ballroom. God damn all those fairy tales that promote love at first fucking sight and only show the good. And goddamn my capitalistic mindset to never be satisfied and always look for someone better. The women I've been with have been totally fine and great. And for what? Just a memory? Holy shit, what am I saying? When we all had legit reasons for breaking up, this isn't all just my fucking fault problem. Yeah! People cannot be good for each other. And yeah! If I really believe someone will be for me, and they think the same, then fucking Mazel Tov. Give Alex a try, kid. Maybe I'll be telling her this story in a, in a rocking chair, on our raggedy old porch when we're 80 years old with stupid fucking teenage grandkids who don't give a shit about us. And I'll tell her, I was high out of my goddamn mind picking you up on our six day sweetheart, that I thought to myself, I'm gonna grow with this woman. And she'll say, it wasn't after our first date. And a laugh track will start playing somewhere because of how fucking ridiculously scripted our perfect lives will be. People are probably staring at me and not having a second thought about what I'm thinking about. Just wrapped up in their own tangled minds. What a crazy thought that all these people in their cars with their own complex thoughts and their own problems that they get to analyze in their head on their way to their own dates to their jobs, or to their homes, or just running errands. What could they be thinking? <laughs> that their ex-girlfriend wants to have sex with them? <laughs> Fuck, I almost forgot. What's, what's going on in January? Is she hurt? Is she okay? What happened to her to give her the brain to make that call? Jesus, what if she wants to get back together? Would I? I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. So I don't know. I feel so done so long ago. Maybe I shouldn't do it. I don't want to hurt her if I can't be with her. I hope she's okay. Find someone. Or fuck, you know. Maybe she doesn't want to be with me. 
Maybe she really does just want some good old fucking that she can't get nowhere else. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Can't get it from anyone else but me. Oh God, that sounds so stupid. Hey asshole, maybe she just feels comfortable and trusts you. Jesus, Alex, okay. I can't think about this now. Not now. Alex, date, date, I'm going on a date. Hey January. What's going on? I gave it a lot of thought and I don't know if it's a good idea. I'm not really comfortable with hooking up again. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Um, no, it's okay. Um, alright, I'll just talk to you later. You okay? Yeah, I'm just, I gotta go, bye. Hey, what's up? I know it's a few weeks away, but you think you'd want to hang out on New Year's? Yeah, sounds like fun. Okay, great. All right, okay, bye. Bye. You good? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, boy, happy New Year's. What do you mean you don't have this in a small? I'm sorry ma'am, holidays are a really busy time for us. Well isn't there anything you can do? Unfortunately not. Unbelievable. What a jerk. <sighs> Seriously. What are you doing here? This is a nice surprise. So, you know when you're at home eating chips and salsa? When you get to the bottom, and it's really annoying because you go in to dip your chip and it breaks in half, and your hand can't even fit in the jar? Yeah, sure. So I've been thinking, what if, in the middle, there's a second twist on? That way, once you get to the bottom, there's a whole new jar of salsa! Why wouldn't you just pour the salsa into a bowl? Yeah, but who wants to do more dishes? Good point. Right? I accept cash or check. I'll have my people call your people. Deal. I'm looking forward to New Year's. Me too. Well, I'll let you get back to your angry customers. God, no. You should get this. Okay. How you doing? Happy New Year. This is my Hi. friend Cody. Oh, sh come here. My dog's name is Cody. Oh. I love Cody's. Cool. Come on in. <laughs> Oh. Alright, cool. <laughs> 
I'll be back. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, pump a girl's leg and blame it on the dog. You do that. Someone's road trip, and I pick up a hitchhiker with a dog because, you know, I'm trying to be a good person, right? So it's a really long drive, and we're taking turns driving, and he's driving, so I'm on the passenger side. And the next thing I know, I wake up at a gas station, and he took all my money and things and left his dog. The dog got a collar, so I thought, okay, I'll take it to the dress that's, you know, on the collar. And when I got there, it turns out it had been missing for over a week. And it had fleas, and it got all over my car. It was such a disaster to deal with. Your life sounds like a Flannery O'Connor story. Wait, you're the girl who makes those little web series, huh? Pictures of April? You see my cartoons? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love those fucking videos. They're awesome. That's supposed to. Of course, no, that was gonna I'm, happen. I'm Why serious. wouldn't it I didn't happen? plan on that happening. It just did. And what's that supposed to mean? And what the fuck happened to your hand, Andrew? Oh my god! Nothing. It's nothing. All right. Just like you. Some guy goes in for a New Year's kiss, and you just roll with it. <sighs> I mean, who was that guy anyway? <sighs> Can we talk about this later? You're bleeding. You need to take care of that. I told you it's fine. It's not even that bad. Don't try to change the subject. Who the fuck was that? It doesn't matter, and just like you said, it doesn't mean anything. Yep. Who cares, right? What are you even doing here? Why are you even apologizing to me? Because I care about your feelings. You don't have to pretend to care about me, okay? You don't have to pretend. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. Just when have I ever given like the impression it. that I don't care? Was it when I told you I didn't want to date anyone? Or was it when you saw someone other than you kissing me? Whatever. I'm leaving. Fine. Hey, try not to get arrested again. Asshole. Did you see anyone suspicious leaving the bathroom? No. <laughs> because some fucking asshole decided it would be great to punch a fucking hole in my bathroom wall, so I have to go now, excuse me. How about that surprise, huh? Oh yeah, what the hell was that? Thought it would be a fun little surprise. What, like fucking you deserve some kind of celebration? What, you don't want to anymore? No. You want to get out of here? Yeah, I can't really hear you right now. Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'll try to get better reception. Yeah. Sir? Yeah, can you uh, hold on a second? I'll, I'll call you right back. Sir. Uh, hi. I'm going to need to see your ID. Uh, okay. Uh, can you tell me what the problem is? Sir, your ID. Why don't you just tell me what the problem is? Okay, step over to the vehicle. What the fuck? No, fuck you! 
so. Yeah. So should we just do it? I guess so. Everything will 